<clears throat> Hello my fellow fools. It's time to get foolish again with another fun, exciting, action-packed adventure that award-winning, because I say it is show, The Fitted Hat Fool. Where I'm the fool, the hats are fitted, and now that we got that bullshit out of the way, let's get down to the hat in question. And as always, the bonus look at my bald head. Now today's hat is a New Orleans Buccaneers hat. So we're going back to the ABA. Time traveling is such. From those wonderful years of 1967 to 1976, some of those years I wasn't even here. Some of them I was. Which ones? I'm not saying. Why? Let's preserve a little mystery, but let's say I am somewhat of an old fucker. <laughs> Anyway, with that out of the way, let's get down to the hat and another bonus look at my bald head. <clears throat> now on the front of the hat, there's the uh, New Orleans Buccaneers logo. You got a, a pirate with a sword dribbling a basketball. It says New Orleans on it and says Buccaneers up there. Uh, you got a red bill, red, white, and blue. It says 1967 over there, red, white, and blue. Uh, Blue stripes on the top there. Uh, you got the ABA logo back there. The Reebok logo back there. You got a red sweatband, a blue bill. An ABA logo, hardwood classics. This is a seven and five eighths. Why is this hat a seven and five eighths? Because that's my goddamn hat size. <laughs> um, and I like ABA hats. Um, found this one for 15 bucks and free shipping. I'm like, well, pretty damn good price, I guess. If you ask me, I guess if you ask someone else, they might not think it's too good of a price. But for me, it's not that bad. And when you consider what hats are going for these days, this isn't that bad. Now, having gotten all that nonsense out of the way, I happen to like retro hats. The ABA is retro. Um, and, you know, I like the ABA is enjoyable. I even like that movie Semi-Pro about the ABA. It's one of the few uh, movies of Will Ferrell that I actually like. Uh, most of them are crap, but that one's pretty good. And um, that's a funny movie. Who doesn't love the Flint Tropics? And, you know, I'm sure there's lots of palm trees running all over Flint, Michigan. I'm sure if I ever go to Flint, Michigan, and I don't know if I will, I'll keep an eye out for them, but I'm probably not any there. I've been to Detroit, that's not Flint, but they're both in Michigan. What's that uh, have to do with the New Orleans Buccaneers? Not a goddamn thing. Now, um, yeah, as far as the ABA, I'm sort of an ABA fan because I was a Nets fan when they were in New Jersey, and uh, they were in the M. Uh, you know, they have ABA roots with them being the New Jersey Americans and then the New York Nets. I used to have a New Jersey Americans hat. I don't know where the hell it went. You know, sometimes you move, uh, shit just gets lost, I guess, and uh, that's one of them. I'm hoping one day to find one of them again, but uh, right now. I haven't seen one, but if I'm out somewhere or I see one online, oh, I will buy one. Um, as far as ABA hats, I have uh, this one. I have a Baltimore Claws hat, which is sort of a, a self-made hat. I bought a patch and a blank hat, and my beautiful wife sewed the patch onto the hat. And, um, oh, I have a, sort of have a Pittsburgh Condors hat. I bought a Pittsburgh Pirates hat and a Pittsburgh Condors patch, and my wife did the sewing of the patch on the side, so that's kind of a half an ABA hat. So, um, I think that's uh, all the ABA hats I have that I can think of, the Condors, the Buccaneers, and the uh, Baltimore Claws. Now, I could be wrong on that, because I got a lot of hats, I might be getting, might be getting, forgetting a few, but as far as I know, that's all the ABA hats I got. <clears throat> but if I'm out somewhere and I see more of them... Oh no, I have a Kentucky Colonels hat too. I bought a, a Kentucky Colonels patch and a blank hat. I also have a Kentucky Colonels jersey. 
Now that was made by uh, 503 Sports or Royal Retros, whatever they're calling themselves now. Um, I got that one. It says Colonel's on the front and Little's 23 on the back. So uh, that's a Gene Little's in case anyone's wondering. Uh, so yeah. So if you're looking for a good ABA jersey, go to 503 Sports, or uh, they're calling themselves Royal Retros by 503 Sports now. Uh, and no, I'm not being paid by them to say this, I just uh, like the jersey. I mean, if they want to, you know, pay me to do some ads for them, uh, you know, hey, I'm a whore, I'll do it. <laughs> Toss some money my way, free jerseys, free hats, whatever. Don't mind me, I've certainly bought enough jerseys off of them over the years. So, uh, I guess if I'm their bitch, I might as well be their whore too. Now I guess that's not very corporate or family friendly, but uh, I'm not always corporate. Definitely not family friendly. I work rude. Eh, you know, I like to swear, I like to curse. Fuck it, I'm from New Jersey. What do you want? Out of People from New Jersey have a, a, you know, a lot of skills and one of them is cursing. Driving is another. I could sit here and mention all of them, but then this video will be like, I don't know, two fucking hours or something. And uh, I don't think I feel like making a two hour video of me babbling. I don't think anyone wants to watch a two hour, me, two hour video of me babbling. I guess if you do, uh, you know, let me know. But that's going to require a sizable PayPal donation for me to sit there and babble for two hours. You know, I, I mostly do these for entertainment. But uh, if I got to sit there and do something for two hours, I, you know, got to get paid. Great cash, homie. Show me the money. Show me the money. And uh, also, this also has nothing to do with the New Orleans Buccaneers, but uh, you know, I just kind of go off on my tangents and uh, you know, I go where the mental wind blows me or takes me. I, I guess, I guess, <laughs> you know, the wind blows for free. What do you charge? That's an old joke. But uh, as I said, you know, I just go where the wind takes me and the wind takes me off on various tangents but I always wind up back to this thank you for watching another fun exciting action-packed adventure at a fitted hat pool where I'm the fool the hats are fitted and if you want to be a fool all you have to do is click the subscribe button and BAM just like that you're a fool so do the foolish thing and become a fool because when you become a fool on my channel, you get these great videos. So being a fool can sometimes be a smart decision.